everyone, it's Miss Nair here. I hope you're all staying safe and that you're all okay during this lockdown. Um, I miss you all so, so much and hopefully I get to see you soon. I thought I would give you a little baking video today, which you can do either with your brothers and sisters or you can do it with your mums and dads. It's totally up to you. Um, and I'm going to be making double chocolate cereal cakes today and the reason why it's double chocolate is because can you see what I've got in the bowl here I have got cocoa pops here and um, that's the cereal I'm going to be using but you can just use um if you don't have that you can use Cheerios you can use plain rice krispies you can either use cornflakes as well okay it's up to you all right so I'm going to be giving you instructions in the form of a recipe Okay, so I'm going to tell you the ingredients that you're going to need and the equipment you'll need as well. Um, so let's get started. So the ingredients you're going to need is 100 grams, which I've already weighed out here, of Cocoa Pops, 100 grams of milk chocolate, which we're going to melt. And you can see here it says 100 grams there. Um, two tablespoons of butter, and I've got my tablespoon there, and a squeeze of golden syrup, okay? So those are all the ingredients you're going to need. The equipment you're going to need is a wooden spoon, a spatula, a weighing scale so you can help weigh out the measurements, um, a tablespoon, um, a bowl to mix everything in, some cupcake cases, um, I don't know if I said measuring jug, but a measuring jug, <laughs> and a microwave as well, okay? So that's what you're all going to need. So 100 grams of that, 100 grams of milk chocolate, two tablespoons of butter, and a nice squeeze of some golden syrup, okay? Let's see if this works. So I'm gonna put my first step is to put your cereal into a bowl. And that should say 100 or 101, that's close. <laughs> um, next, what you're going to do is break your chocolate. You can see I've broke it into tiny little pieces here. Put your chocolate into a measuring jug. Okay. Turn on your microwave. Put two tablespoons of butter in there. And a squeeze of golden syrup in there. Now I'm going to melt my chocolate in the microwave. And I'm going to be doing it every 10 seconds, taking it out and stirring so it all melts nice and evenly. If you don't have a microwave, you can do it on the hob, but you just have to put everything in a saucepan instead. Um, and if you're going to do it on the hob, just make sure that you do it on a really low heat so it doesn't boil and it doesn't burn because chocolate is actually very quite easy to burn. Um, so let me put everything in the, in the measuring jug and I'll get back to you. So as you can see, I've got everything in here ready to be melted so that's 100 grams of milk chocolate again uh, two tablespoons of butter and a nice big squeeze of golden syrup now I've already got my microwave turned on so I'm going to put it in the microwave for 10 to 20 seconds roughly uh, and take it out and stir, gently stir it with my metal spoon uh, and I'm going to stir it gently because I don't want it to splatter everywhere it might be a bit too hot um, and I'm going to keep repeating that process until everything in there is fully, fully melted and I can pour it into this bowl full of cereal, okay? If you're going to do it on a saucepan, just remember, like I said, um, put it in the saucepan over the hob, but on a low heat and just stir it gently. That's where you're going to need your adult to help you with this melting process so that um, they can do it properly. You can stand and watch or you can help a little bit, it's up to the parents or up to your carers to help you. Um, but just be careful of this part. Okay, so I've just taken it out of the microwave. It is a little bit hot, so please remember, get your adult to take it out of the microwave or to get it off the hob because it's just come out. Um, and I've just stirred it all and there are no lumps. You need to make sure there are no lumps, otherwise if you see any lumps, that means it didn't melt properly, okay? and it looks like a nice big chocolate river, okay? So, the next step now is to gently pour all of this melted chocolate mixture into your big bowl full of cereal, okay? And we're going to use our spatula to do that. And after that, you're going to use your nice big wooden spoon 
to mix everything all together and then you're going to use your metal spoon, your metal tablespoon, to spoon it into these cupcake cases nice and gently, ready for the fridge, okay? Now I'm not sure how much this will make, but let me do this step and I will find out for you. Okay, so here they all are. This is the final step now, so we're at the end of our instructions. Um, I've spooned them all into the cupcake cases and I've even put them on a plate, ready to go in the fridge. This recipe makes 10 cereal cakes and the final step is for it to go in the fridge. Um, so you need to make sure that you, you have space in your fridge beforehand. Um, if you don't have space in your fridge but you have space in your freezer, what you can do is pop them all on a baking tray and put them in the freezer. Now they'll probably take about maybe 20 to 30 minutes to set. It just depends and you need to make sure that the mixture when you get it out is not all wet okay it needs to be hard and set in its cupcake case now if you want to and it's up to you you can even put some confetti sprinkles on there you can sprinkle some unicorn sprinkles or if you like white chocolate chips you can put white chocolate chips on the top um, if you like having chocolate with strawberries and blueberries you can slice them and put them on the top of your cereal cakes or if you if you like um, caramel and fudge pieces you can also sprinkle those on top if you want to make it your own okay so the final step now is to put them in the fridge and left leave it in there for maybe 20 to 30 minutes whilst you wash up the rest of your equipment i hope that helps and happy baking i'll see you all soon fingers crossed